Brain tumors are among the deadliest of all cancers. On average, most patients survive for no more than a year. But now doctors are testing a vaccine that turns on the body's own immune system to get it to kill the tumor. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez has this story. I started to get headaches at night and they got painful. The news for Renee Troiano was not good. An MRI revealed a brain tumor, and within a week, she was in surgery. They showed me the MRI, and that's when it hit home. The surgery did go well, but the reason that these brain tumors are so deadly is that you can never cut out the whole cancer. The most aggressive have tentacles like an octopus that grow through the normal brain. So we can remove the head of the octopus that we see on the MRI scan, but it's those cells, the tentacles that are left behind that we really have a difficult time controlling. So now Troiano's best hope lies in the cells frozen here in liquid nitrogen. They're part of a clinical trial for a promising vaccine called ICT-107. Here's how it works. A specific type of white blood cell from the patient is primed in the lab to attach to markers that are present in brain tumors. Those cells are then injected back into the patient, where other white cells in the lymph nodes learn to recognize the tumor markers. Those killer cells travel to the brain and attack the brain cancer cells, destroying them. That's what Troiano is having injected here. Without the vaccine, three out of four brain tumor patients die within two years. But in a small preliminary trial... In their phase one trial, it showed a 80% two-year survival. And whatever it does, great. Mm -hmm. I'll be fine. Now, Troiano is part of what's called a double-blind clinical trial, which means neither she nor her doctors know if she's actually getting the vaccine or a monthly placebo injection. But everyone in the trial gets the standard of care for brain tumors, which is chemo and radiation after surgery. In other health news, a surprising study reveals ovarian cancer screening is not preventing deaths. Ovarian cancer is one of the leading causes of cancer deaths among women, partly because it's usually not found until it's at an advanced stage. 68,000 women ages 55 to 74 with no history of ovarian cancer took part in the study. Half received yearly ultrasound screening and CA-125 blood tests. Half of the women received standard care. The women who um, had cancer turned out to have the same stage of cancer and were no more likely to be cured of cancer than women who weren't screened. The study also reveals ovarian cancer screenings produce a number of false positive results leading to unnecessary surgeries. The results are in the Journal of the American Medical Association this week.